Okay, so I came across what I would classify as a rather disturbing article that I would like to discuss with y'all because I believe it carries a lot of weight go going forward. So the title of the article is the following. Moderna CEO says a fourth vaccine dose could be needed in the fall. So I want to talk about why this is negative and why it's honestly outright outrageous in many respects. So the article goes as follows. Moderna CEO uh, Stefan Bansell on Thursday said people may need a fourth shot of the coronavirus vaccine in fall 2022. CNBC and other news outlets reported. Bansell, while speaking at a healthcare event organized by Goldman Sachs, said that the booster efficacy will wane over time, similar to the first two shots of the COVID-19 vaccine. However, he said people will likely have enough protection from their booster shot last fall to get them through the winter, CNBC added. While referring to the strength of the booster shot, he said, I will be surprised when we get that data in the coming weeks, that it's holding nicely over time, adding that I would expect it's not going to hold great, according to the news outlet. I still believe we're going to need boosters in the fall of 22 and forward, Banto said, according to Reuters. Banto added that COVID-19 is, quote unquote, not going away. We're going to have to live with it, he said. His comments come at his comments echo Pfizer CEO Albert Burola, who said in December that a fourth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine may eventually be needed amid concerns about the Omicron variant. For now, though, Pfizer said that three doses appear to provide good protection. The Israeli government is already offering a fourth COVID-19 vaccine dose to healthcare workers and individuals 60 years and older in an effort to bolster protection amid the Omicron wave of the pandemic. Now, um, I want to talk about this because this affects what's going on in a multitude of ways, and it drives many things that I want to get into. So these CEOs of these uh, pharmaceutical uh, manufacturers and companies, they're coming out and they're saying, particularly in this case, Pfizer and Moderna, that a fourth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine is indeed necessary. Okay, let's just, before we really get into the crux of this, let's run over just very quickly what we're dealing with here. So we're dealing with the government, that being this one in America, the Joe Biden administration, who has essentially given up, okay? And they've just released, uh, you know, everything, uh, the states will deal with it. They've given up on everything in regards to COVID. There's no, mo there's no more relief coming anybody's way. They've adopted this notion that the economy is doing great because the stock market is doing great. Any reasonable person with a modicum of common sense knows that just because the stock market is doing great, it doesn't describe for you how the regular American is doing. Need I remind you, 10% of people in this country own 87% of the stocks, okay? That isn't any kind of recollection whatsoever on what the or on how the American people are doing at large. That's an idiotic statistic to look at to judge the economy on. OK, people are still hurting across the, this entire country. But we have these people coming out and just notice there how he gives the whole game away. Uh, the Moderna CEO, uh, this this isn't going away as in this pandemic. We're going to have to live with it. And, you know, look. This entire debacle, this entire conversation about the vaccines and big pharma and these manufacturers, it deserves so much nuance and it never gets any of that. OK, and I want to try my best to break that down here. Now, in this country, there is quite a bit of vaccine hesitancy. And I'm just going to speak specifically about this country because um, this is the one that I reside in. There was quite a bit of vaccine hesitancy. So as it stands now, I believe it's what, 72% of adults are vaccinated. I believe it's around 62% of the entire country is vaccinated. So there's still a pretty large chunk of people that are unvaccinated. And when these big CEOs come out and say, oh, you know, we're gonna need another dose. Well, what does this do? Obviously in my eyes, it undermines the vaccine. And it promotes vaccine hesitancy. Well, why would I say that? Well, I say that because the people that aren't vaccinated, that are up the ass of these different conspiracy theories and whatever the fuck else, this research that they're doing, all the research has been done. The vaccine is completely safe. I'm a large proponent of the vaccine. But at the same time, I'm incredibly uh, critical and skeptical of Big Pharma and these government institutions, as you should be as well, right? But they come out and they say we need a fourth dose. Well, it undermines the vaccine because people that haven't even gotten the first dose, need I remind you, there are many people that haven't gotten the first dose, will say, well, wait a minute. If we need the first two doses, a booster, and now in the fall of this new year, you're telling us we're going to need a fourth dose. Well, then what the fuck? Does the vaccine not work? 
Well, no, the vaccine does work. There's been numerous studies on it. I mean, m more studies than I can count where the vaccine was um, over 90% effective from keeping you um, away from hospitalization and death. And that's the thing, isn't it? Or that should be the thing. That, and, you know, I've looked at different experts. I've read different articles of people giving commentary to this. And the health experts and the public health officials sing a different tune than these CEOs. And I'm going to explain why in just a second. But what they say is, oh, well, the goal here isn't to stop people from transmitting COVID. We have new variants now. We had the Delta variant. Now we have the Omicron variant. And as we know, the Omicron variant is much more contagious than its previous, um, you know, um, variants of COVID. But we're not really trying to stop COVID being transmitted. We just want to keep people out of the hospital. Let's just keep people from dying. That's the immediate objective, right? But if you listen to these uh, big pharma CEOs who have a lot to gain from pushing more vaccines, you know, they want to say, oh, well, we, we got to because we don't want people to get COVID. Well, that's not really the issue. The issue is keeping people alive. That's the obvious thing in my eyes. But this is what the scheme is. And a lot of people, I feel like, go down the wrong pathways here and get things misconstrued. They think that the scheme is, is somehow the government wants to give you a vaccine. Look, there's many different conspiracy theories out there, but this is one of the most popular. The government wants to give you a vaccine. They want to inject you with some kind of serum, right, to do things to you, to kill you or whatever. Okay, the government, they have the army, the military, the, the entire military they have under their control. They have the nuclear weapons. I mean, NSA spying gets increased under every administration. Have you ever heard of the Patriot Act? They have a million different ways to get rid of you, to spy on you, to do something to you. They don't need to do it through a vaccine. Sorry to burst your bubble here. The scam is the CEOs coming out and saying that, oh, this is going to be a normal thing. We're going to be in this forever. We got to keep pushing more vaccines. That's just another way for them to say, OK, well, let's just sell more vaccines to these governments and let's make more money off of it because we're profit driven and we shouldn't exist and we need to be nationalized. That's the scam. The scam has nothing to do with the efficacy or how good the vaccine is, particularly the scam is the profiteering of these fucking assholes, this Moderna CEO and the Pfizer CEOs, okay? And as I said, it just, it, it, it takes away credibility, whether you like it or not, from the vaccine, which is good. And you should get the vaccine and you should get vaccinated. And as I reiterated before, there's people in this country that haven't even had their first dose and they're out here trying to push a fourth dose when experts and scientists are out here saying, well, no, hold off. The immediate objective should be keeping people out of the hospital. But this entire conversation, as I said, deserves a lot of nuance and it isn't receiving that. And I just hopefully have provided a little bit um, to you so you can get a kind of an understanding to the game that's being played here. Look, when it comes to vaccines, when it comes to medicine in general, these things are created at universities and labs that we fund through our tax money. Big Pharma comes in, they buy up all the rights to this stuff and then sell it off to uh, to make profit. That's the scam. That's what we need to stop. It, Big Pharma has no reason to exist whatsoever. They're only there to screw you over. It's the same situation with the health insurance companies. Why do you need Blue Cross Blue Shield in order to receive health care? Why do you need to go through this third party in order to get a plan in which some things are covered, some things are, you're paying this amount of money every month getting screwed, and then when you need them to come through for you, they can't even take care of you. Why? Ask yourself these questions, and like I said, this deserves a lot of nuance, and just a little bit of thinking can put you on the right trail, but there's people out here trying to misconstrue things and take you down the road of conspiracy, when in fact, it's just a big waste of time. But at the end of the day, uh, what this Moderna CEO said in his article I just read essentially gave away the game. They want to keep us in this pandemic so that they can keep making money. And to end this, I want to just bolster one point that I kind of forgot about, but it's probably the most important point. They need to lift the patent protections on the vaccines. That is driving these new variants. Africa, India, these different uh, continents and countries with, um, you know, much larger populations 
uh, then what we have here in America and many of the rich countries around the world are stuck without a vaccine, a vaccine, because I mean, and all they're asking for is just lift the patent protections. We can make it ourselves. But no, Big Pharma, they want to protect their profits. And this is a way for them to make even more money with these different variants and things uh, continue to worsen. They can just push more vaccines and make even more money. And that's the scam. And that's what needs to be attacked. And that's what we need to prod our government over and protest over to get them to lift these patent protections so that we can finally end this thing. Look, I'm perfectly fine with the COVID vaccine being like a flu shot every year. But this reoccurring booster shot every couple months, that's completely unrealistic. It's not going to happen. I mean, only a third of adults that have gotten vaccinated have gotten the booster shot anyway. It's not an effective strategy. The immediate goal should be to keep people out of the hospital and keep people out of a coffin. But I guess that's not as obvious to see as I maybe thought it was.